Hello everyone, how good of you to join. Welcome back to Humankind. We are focusing on Rome now um, as our next development after those sieges. So the war is still not over, but um, we can still now focus on those things because I'm confident that with the seven armies that we have, um, it's going to be fine. So what we can do here is, well, it's a bit tricky to be honest. Infrastructure projects are completely gone, uh, well done at this point. The watchtower, not that important. Units cost me pop, I'd rather not do that. So let's go with a district, we have a good stability. Unfortunately, I don't have the science district yet. So I'm going ahead with a farmer district to boost my, my growth rating. Um, and we can have that, as we can see, in quite a lot of locations. Because we can have those districts also at the outposts on either side. And Rome has two outposts attached to it. Um, so we can use this. This area here though is pretty good when it comes to industry. So we are focusing on that over here. Right? So there we have, oh my goodness, 18 industry. If we build the industry point here. So this is a snowball effect. Because of course every, in, uh, every district um, boosts the districts around it. Right? So every adjacent district as we can see. We do get another industry point. So I need to focus here on the industry to, to snowball the effect of that. And up here, we are boosting it with the farming district. So we already have a farm here. So I would like to go ahead and have another farm here. And then we can have another farm here. And they're boosting each other there. Very important that we do it like that. In Rome itself, I might just go ahead then with the maker quarters. Or, well, with the research. Once we get that, of course. In Phaistos, um, something else is happening. Food is low. So we might need to get us a farmer quarter up there. Not an easy task because Phaistos is not looking so good. It was a conquered city. Um, we might just go for something else. Food on river. We don't have a river tile. Um, but food per horse is something. So let's go ahead on the... Yep, on the animal farms for Phaistos. And there's also an event here. The world as it ever was is divided into the rulers and the ruled. Great sprawling empires and proud independent cities. Your struggle is with other empires, but you should not forget the part these free cities can pay. play. Independent people as a new civic. Let's just check this. Do we have another thing here? No. This is the only civic that is available at the moment. Um, and we see a mercenary armies or assimilated people. Right, so I know Rome always tried to assimilate the people into its empire. So we might just go for this one here. Our empire will become stronger by opening our arms to new communities. And this one brings me to homeland choice. Minus 50% assimilation cost. They may have more to offer than just their weapons. And another specialization into the civic street. Osmosis, I love it. We have it in Pompeii. So this one here gives me 42 for my next research. Let's accept that. Oh, that was only one turn though. So standing army is still taking its time. Let's end the turn. Rome gets another pop. So we're really growing quickly now in Rome. At five pop already in three turns, we get the next one right away. We should be really focusing hard on that. Pharma quarter is getting finished. So let's build the next one then. Probably up there once this one is done. So a bit of city development that we have. Um, yeah, Pompeii. I I am going to push another pop over there to food. And the animal barn is being built. And then we're going to have another farm over here in my farmland. Right where it does get the boosted um, farmer quarter here already. So we do need a bit more, more of that for Pompeii. Plus, Pompeii is pretty safe over there. right? So I'm not expecting any attack on Pompeii for quite some time. Now, the next goth attack is also coming, but I'm not expecting that much damage anyone anymore from them. They're still losing their war support. The Huns are also in the game. And yeah, they do look pretty strong, as we can see. I mean, by the way, we are the last one right now. But I think it's like with Civilization VI, where the AI just cheats a lot in the beginning. And I think we can catch this up, but boy, they're far away. Um, with 2,700 and the Huns are 1,700. So let's propose trade everything anyway. And we can actually do this. Glorious, we could purchase glorious. the horses. So. And that's basically it. Rome has finished the next farmer. Very good. Uh, money is a lot in, but I would rather use this pop here in science. We have the scribe, right? So let's just go ahead. We have how much food? 42. 
that's a big growth and that's not going to be enough let's push another oh wait a second stability ah it's fine stability is totally fine Oh, very nice. Also, another science osmosis event that gives us the research quarters. We can unlock it instantly or we boost the research by a meager 72. This is a research that takes a long time, right? So I'm just going to unlock it right now Debate because we have the money. And we have philosophy finally unlocked. Idle, and this one gives the me the research quarter and a boost to that. It also gives me the administrator the now that we can add to cities. So another new mechanic that is being added that we have need to have a look at it then again the next siege is coming in oh and it's a big one it's eight units there once again eight units that is going to be tricky let's let's go for it again i'm going to do it manually um and let's just see what we can do here let's have my archers archers veteran archer now let's move them and let's move don't have enough space for my archers. Um, let's move them over there, the veterans. Come over here. And I think that's fine. There we still have an archer unit. So we have a front line there once again. Let's end development and just see what they are doing. So we can attack now. And we should, of course, use my veterans there right away. I actually have two of them working. They're doing a good damage there to those horses. And then also do that. And I just love how the rain of fire is coming down on them. In this in this area, in this moment, I also need to mention how aggressive the AI really is. It is aggressive. We're playing on the third hardest difficulty right now. Um, and they're not letting go of us. So they're constantly pushing. Because I've read a lot of comments about AI being pretty, you know, um, passive. I have no idea where, what kind of game they're playing. Because it's always like that. They're always very aggressive and trying from all sides. All right, they're still playing, so they're still doing their things. We have now the upper hand, or we have now, uh, it's our turn again. Let's just see, let's weaken those horses there because they do less damage than to those infantry units. Go with another area and those guys here. Very nice, so they're almost destroyed here now. Can they still fire? Nope. Let's end the turn. <laughs> that must be Achilles. Oh, well, that was Achilles. He was single-handedly single attacking. And yes, very good here for the defense of Rome is that we have those rivers. And as we can see, they get the crossing river penalty on those tiles. That is just perfect. All right, we can do it again. Let's just try on them. On them. Them. I'm not attacking those river guys because they're already weakened by their terrain, so they will still take increased damage. Boy, the Goths are so bad, really. They've tried it now three times with full force and they can't take Rome. They just can't. Oh, they might actually be able to take down this unit there. Yeah, now they have the horses still. Alright, alright. It's the end of the turn, so we need to wait for the next turn there. Let's see what other things are happening. We get another civic point, the wisdom of others. Your merchants track the world, reaching great markets in far climes and selling your highly prized natural riches for much coin. Conversely, your empire sees many traders from distant land visit our plazas with their goods, their wit and their provocative ideas. All right, let's use it. Elder's Wisdom of Foreign Innovation. We get plus signs for each trade route, or we get plus one signs per researcher on cities. This is pretty good, to be honest, right? Because we can we can control this. This one we cannot control that much because we will always depend on outside forces. Um, I'd rather go with Learning the Elder Wisdom. It's important to know where you're going. Plus, I think it gives me research where more from. quickly. Next turn, next attack. Once again, they're trying it. Charge. We're trying it back. So we are just firing. I mean, they're already pretty weak again, as we can see. And there's not that much that we... That could really change this outcome, to be honest. Um, the only thing that I might do here is I might change them if that's possible. But I don't think it's possible. It is possible. 
but I have to do it like that. I would love for this one to be a one-step action here. But still. Let's take down this unit there. We have some fresh infantry in the front. And it's basically this turn here already. Next turn, um, the first cultures reach the next era, medieval era, so the Franks um, are being chosen right now. They're the first ones. We're still pretty far away from our next era, so yeah, I'm, I'm pushing signs already. This is the, the, the big thing that we need to, to achieve here. Districts, another two, um, and pops, right? So that would be our goal. Pops, districts, signs, boosting that a bit more. Standing army has been researched. Very good. With that, we unlock the iron. We should see some iron now on the map. There's the first one. Perfect. That we can use then. This one is very important for the legion that we can then use as a melee unit. And let's just finish this, this battle here. Because it's basically over anyway. Here. And here. Can I? Ah, that's too far away. Let's move them in. And then they attack. Oh, and this one died as well. So that's over. Once again, the Goths lost. And as we can see, oh, we get another star. Very good. So I think we have the highest star now. Yep, destroy 26 military units. So that's the highest one. And we have lost not a single unit. So that's why I like the, the manual battles there. Very good. Once again, Rome stands victorious. Let's have a look at the Goths. They should you be reaching zero now. So I, I'm not expecting another attack. This war is over for them. There's nothing they can really do. We do get another tech that we can choose. Let's go with fishing. And this gives me the harbor and also another tech. And we need the tax for the stars, right? And by the way, we have now the research quarter. Three signs and th one signs per adjacent research quarter. So we should try to snowball this too. I have the industry tiles down here. I have the farm tiles up here. So it makes sense to have the research tiles close to the city. So we can have then quite a lot in this area. Quite a lot. Let's build the first one. We do lose some food and... Is that a farm? Do I have a farm here? Nope, there's no farm. But the territory will lose its resources. Not up here. Let's build it up here first. Right, our first research quarter. And we're probably going to build a few of them. But also very important, now we need to push the iron mine. So that we can build it. We can exploit our strategic resource here. And do we have a second one? Nope. All right, we don't have a second um, iron one, iron ore deposit in Rome itself. But we might have it in the surrounding area. No, unfortunately we don't. Dry grass. That is another strategic resource that we have. Dry grass. Now, Feistos doesn't really have a lot to offer except industry, and we might also be pushing the research quarter into Feistos as well, because we have a lot of space here that no one really needs and no one really uses. So that might be something. Um, up here, we can use it, as we can see. We only got dirt around anyway, but we need to be careful here because food is already pretty low again in Feistos. Farms, plus six over there, plus six here. There is something, ah, okay. Let's have a farm district down here. And then we can have another one down here and they're boosting itself. And then I could go with the research quarter up here. Most likely. Osmosis, once again, I love them. Rome gets it. And trade expeditions, boost it. Fishing research, we got the harbor. And the harbor is going to be very interesting and very important. Let's just check this in Pompeii. There we have the harbor, and the harbor, we can now build, I think we can build several of them, and they always offer a nice bonuses. In this case here, not the best for now, but we're going to unlock more things as we progress. Let's build it here first, our very first harbor, and with that we can also build ships. Oh, we're still building a farmer quarters, let's change them. I want to build the harbor first. And the walking wounded. During the recent brutal battle of Rome, uh, many soldiers sustained horrific life-changing injuries. What should we do with them? Um, glorify them, celebrating, or exploit them. These brave soldiers might not fight again, but they can still be useful tools. On ins by inciting military feeling. Let's go with this one. It gives me a nice bonus to land units 
and stability we have plenty of room right we are full with stability so i don't need that in rome itself i can build a harbor too for this lake right not very useful though oh wait a second down here because the attached outpost is close to that not the best tiles though so i'm, I'm not doing that now the next research let's go with something that is fast because i need that star i need that era star the only game in town and there's a festival in rome the foot race the short race is most popular among the worshippers and has given you an idea during this time of peace there is a danger the empire's army i'm not at peace um the empire's army will lose their edge we could race and what do we focus on the strength stamina or mind of my units um we could go with mind we do get 10 signs for 10 turns i like that boosting our signs the next research and we get another star perfect three more stars we need um fortification the stone wall is probably pretty important yes and the aqueduct the most iconic building probably of rome beside the Colosseum, so those are very important researches that we should be doing. The next research quarter is coming out now anyway, there we have it, and with that we've boosted our research, and we also have already three researchers on science in Rome. Let's go ahead and have another research quarter that I would like to have, and we have one here, so building another one here, boosted to five. Let's go ahead and do this. I want another one of these. And then we can have the school, Plus one science for each research quarter that we have. And that's just perfect. The Goths want something from us? Yes, they want to surrender. The Goths are surrendering. All right. So, <laughs> no terms are being met yet. Um, they would pay us 970 coin in reparation. All right, let's refuse it. Um, refusing it, 970 coin, we might be getting this one back. Okay, if I accept it, the war is over, we get the 970 coin, that's it. If I refuse, to be honest, I have no idea what really happens. So costs you 10 war support and grants them 20 war support. So the war would go on for another five turns, I guess. Um, but on the other hand, we could get better terms later. <laughs> let's try and refuse and we'll just see how this one goes. They will probably attack now. Again. Resources. We got another 30 coin there. And we also got the docks. Almost. Fortifications. We have now stone walls. We have citizens, which is a very interesting military unit. That doesn't cost you anything. Um, and we get the military camps. Next research. Hydrology for the aqueduct. Your first harbor. And Fishing, my first harbor. Trade. Voyages of exploration. A beautiful see building. Many things out of this tiny window onto a huge This world. one is boosting finally some food now into Pompeii. It has taken quite some time. The farmer quarter is coming along and we do get some special buildings for the harbor like the fishery. So that's plus three food on the harbor for example. And money on the harbor with the fishmonger. That's pretty cool. Um, I could go with that, or we go with four Pompeii. Let's go with that, because food is not really stable enough yet. The, the Celts are proposing a non-aggression pact. So we're going with that. What I could also I propose have? the trade everything. The yes. Perfect. They're accepting. We have something to trade. Copper. I don't need copper. I need iron. Another population in Rome. We have 10 pops now in Rome. And the Goths are coming once again. Right? So they are still having a war support now. And just because we have that much pop, let's also get the swordsmen. By the way, by the way, by the way, we should be upgrading those swordsmen now. So the warriors to swordsmen. That is the next tag. And this is looking almost like a legion. There we have them. And there we have them. Costs me a bit of money, but we have plenty of that. And these units look pretty cool. Let's upgrade those. Arches there. And I might just be getting another swordman now out of my town. And also the Markabata. The two pops this will cost us. But we have enough of that. Fine. 
The hunts won't sharing the map with us. No, they want a non-aggression pact. Boy, are we that strong military-wise? Because they're all pushing now for non-aggression with us. I'm in with that. Uh, Feistos has the harbor connection here. Ooh, that's pretty good because it gives me five food and two industry in an area where we usually don't have any food. Ah, and we have the farmer quarters, two of them, and that we get two a uh, ten food because of the synergies with the other districts. Let's go ahead and do this. The Feistos, after all, can have a bit of food. Plus, we also get the struggle for Dominion, civic trade now. The capital is the empire's true seat of power, but now other cities with energetic populaces rise to prominence. Their leaders and other influential figures won't sway over the empire's affairs. Sounds legit. So what should we do? Um, small council, a handful of the wisest heads to give good counsel. Or Otak, the absolute will of the leader should not be looted. Historically correct, we should say the Otak because that's, you know, um, the emperor. This gives me stability in the capital. The thing is, you always have a lot of stability on the capital. Um, and the small council gives me a city cap, and that is really powerful because cities cost a lot after a while. Most Let's go with the small council. council. Yield to the onslaught of more brains. So far, so good. The next goths are coming. We do have the swordsman now, though, too. Um, so I'm feeling pretty safe there in my walls. What we should still be doing is what we should be, yep, can do now is also the stone wall. So Rome should get fortified by the stone wall. I'm doing that in Feistos as well. Um, Perhaps we even purchase that in an instant. And Pompeii, I'm not doing that because Pompeii is in the back of my empire and I'm not expecting any bigger attack there other than the Celts and the they're on friendly terms with us. See what is possible. Also, copper would be the only thing they can trade, not really anything. Another era star because we have the districts, only two more stars and we can advance to the medieval era. So far, that's working out fine. And we'll continue here in the next episode. Stay tuned.